If you were born and brought up in Bini or you're from Middle State, you know what Akao is used for. It's actually called potash. I think it's called potash. So I normally use it to make obu, obu and yam. I bought the motor all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. It's crazy. Like, look at this gorgeous baby. Look at this gorgeous baby. I've always wanted one of these, but the ones I find in the UK. They just don't feel right. Oh, Who oh. goes to Nigeria and not get some granola? I was actually going to buy more, but I just didn't have the time, so I just got these three granuts. Who goes to Nigeria and not buy granola? I don't know who. So I got like 20 of these, like more black fish. More black fish. Uh, I bought Cameroon pepper just because each time I watch to see a Miss Vijay. Some of her recipes, you be like Cameroon pepper, Cameroon pepper. So I just kind of bought it. Uh, let's. Hello guys, how are you all doing today? Welcome to another vlog by Mommy's Blog. So I really hope you guys are doing fine. As you can see, it's a change of weather. It's cold. So we've left um, Nigeria for UK. We arrived yesterday in the evening. And so I've just been so busy like with cleaning, unpacking. Like it's just so much hard work. Like the last two months that I've been in Nigeria, I've been living the, the you know, a fizzy life. This is back to harsh reality. Like my mom is not here to help around. I don't have any house help to help with the cleaning or cooking. So it's just me and the girls so i have to be the cook the cleaner the mommy like everything while still working so tomorrow i have work and the whole of this week is going to be so busy because i have so much work to do i have a lot of month ends to do as well like it's going to be so busy so anyway i've been busy all day packing cleaning i see I haven't finished upstairs but i'm just taking it one room at a time but we're making progress so i thought you know what yeah why will i unpack without showing you guys what i actually bought from nigeria so i went food shopping i did some grocery shopping in nigeria and i think it's the tradition of we that live abroad so if you if you go to nigeria and you're coming back quite a lot of us tend to buy food from nigeria just because it's cheaper and you get more value for money as well and some of the things you can't really find here or if you find it here it's not as fresh or or it's very far from where you live so i made sure that this time around i stocked up and guess what guys i was really thinking about not buying some few stuff because i really have some in the fridge guess what i came back i don't even know what happened to my freezer like i don't know what happened like all my meat all my fish everything in that fridge went bad like and i did a lot of shopping because i thought to myself when i come back i don't want to start going to the market so i just have a bit of thing to kind of like cook and eat for the first one week everything like my stew my chicken my beef everything went bad in my freezer but my normal fridge my normal fridge everything was still fine i don't even know why i transferred everything to that fridge i don't know i don't know why everything got spoiled so i had to i'm very glad that i actually bought um some more stuff because i was really thinking hmm, i already have them in the fridge i have a few bits in the fridge but what's the point but anyway i'm glad i bought it um i'm actually in the uk right now the girls and i are um on quarantine so when you arrive in the uk you have to quarantine for 10 days so i was really lucky a friend of mine helped me to go grocery shopping so thank you kemi for doing that for me so guys straight to the video let's unpack <laughs> let me show you guys what i bought who can you guess what this is who can guess what this is guys this this thing here is a funny story because we went to abuja if you if you watch my previous vlog you will, you will notice that we went to abuja and what did we go to in abuja I mean, we went for site inspection, and then when we were going to the airport, I found one of these. This, I bought a motor, guys. I bought a motor all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. It's crazy. Like, look at this gorgeous baby. Look at this gorgeous baby. I've always wanted one of these, but the ones I find in the UK, 
they just don't feel right i've always wanted them for a long time but the ones i find here they just don't feel right so i grabbed one of these in um abuja i think it was like for one five or something yeah one five or something so very handy mortar for when i want to make like um I don't know, but I do know that it will be it will be very useful for me. For example, if I want to kind of like blend things, I don't want to use the blender. Or my husband was like, ah, um, sure, pounded the jam from now. I'm like, it's not only pounded the jam, sure you pound it. But anyway, I was really grateful for this mortar. Really, really happy about it. That's what I bought because because um, Anna Marie is two years old, so I have enough luggage. So we bought full price ticket for her anyway. So I have enough luggage and. Um, so I had two bags and a hand luggage. And I might have two bags and, and a hand luggage. And Maria had um, just one bag. So because I also had space, I was just buying. I was buying and buying and buying. And I kind of feel like I've bought a lot of stuff. I, I bought them mostly because of my husband, Sha. Um, I do like, I mean, I do like eating Nigerian food. But if I'm alone in the house, I barely cook. That's just the truth. I barely cook. But I thought I'd buy some things. Guess what I bought? You know, my mom was like, I should take potatoes, I should take potatoes. I'm like, what do I need before? There's potatoes here in the UK. She's like, just take a bit too much. So I took some potatoes from Nigeria. It's crazy. I think I took about four. Four potatoes um, from Nigeria. Um, yeah, I think I took about four potatoes. There are some underneath the bag. I bought, um, I bought this. I bought pandu. It's not like you can't find this here in the UK. You can't find it, but I just thought, you know, what's the essence? Five luggage, I might mean, as well just buy. I bought this. I got two of this. I got two of this. And then I bought, I bought Milo. I bought Milo. I bought milk. Yeah, you can find this in the UK, by the way, but just because, just because I bought milk. And I got myself some Derica. I got some Derica rose. I got some Derica. I bought more Derica. So some more Derica. Um, yeah, I found the other bits of my potatoes. These are my potatoes. And what else did I buy? I bought more the beef one for beef. I think I bought two and then my mom bought me one more. I just thought, you know what, I'll take it as well. I bought two. Oh, yeah. There you go. One more of this as well. I bought the chicken one. I bought the chicken one as well. Uh, my mom said this is really good for soups, nanja pots. So I bought some nanja pots as well. And who goes to Nigeria without buying kitchen glue i love this seasoning like i got so many rolls so many rolls like i love them for cooking my chicken they just give it this really nice aroma that i really love and enjoy so i got this and guess what i got more of my chicken glory got more of those what else did we buy um i got beans i love to cook honey beans like i just love beans I love my I normally get a pack of I think is it five kg for is it fifteen pounds? Fifteen pounds or about thirteen pounds depends. So that five or ten kg I can't remember. But how many kg is this one? Um yeah, I'm sure it's five kg I normally buy for like fifteen pounds. But yeah, so I got got some beans. Got me some more beans. Find my other chicken. Well, we feel like some of them are squashed. And then some more ninja pots. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. And of course, who goes to Nigeria and not get some ground? I was actually going to buy more, but I just didn't have the time. So I just got these three granites. Who goes to Nigeria and not buy granites? I don't know who. I honestly don't know who. I got some um chips, so some planted chips. I got these ones from ShopRite. I really, really love them, and they are so yummy. But things I was not telling myself after I got, I was like, what's the essence of getting this? I mean, 
I'm about to start my weight loss journey because obviously while I was in Nigeria, I was eating like a pregnant woman, like someone that does not have, um, someone that has just been out of the prison and she has not eaten for a while. So yeah, I was eating too much. So, um, anyway, I got some plantain cheese. So I don't know who's going to eat them. Maybe the girls, because the girls like them because I'm on a diet. This is not going to be eaten by me. Maybe, who knows? I got chin chin. I got one of these. I realized I was going to be a diet when I go back because I was going to buy three of these because I really love them as well. But I realized I was going to be on a diet when I get back. So I bought I bought just one. Uh I found the you know for my pistol. Mm. Yeah, can I don't know if my pounded yam, you know, that's gonna be very good for pounded yam as well. What do I have here? Yeah, I have some okoroko. Jeez! I like these ones better than the okoroko, like like the big ones that, that are like proper fish. Because those ones are just always too big. I like this one because then they can just scatter in your soup. Which is which is really nice. Guys, forget about this um drawing on the wall. Anna Marie and her sister has turned this side of the living room space to their drawing board. So we've painted this twice, they're still doing it. Like, in fact, if you come to my living room, like the whole walls, these children have drawn on it. So um, probably during the summertime, we'll give you another um, paint. So don't mind that mark on, on the wall. So yeah, I got some fish. They're all here. Got some lovely okorokos. I got some more fish, guys. See, so yeah, I got um, black fish. I already packaged this one. So I got like 20 of these, like more black fish. More black fish. Uh, more black fish. More black fish. So yeah, like I said, I got like 20 of these black fish because my husband liked them in soups. So I was just thinking, okay, that would last in like a year. So, and then I got bong um bonga fish so i got bonga fish because i like it for for when i make garlic egg sauce or when i'm trying to do like pepper sauce like just a quick one so i got myself some bonga fish these are all the ones that i got um and then i also got mangala yes i got myself some mangala um more mangala i think got about 10 of that let's move back oh yeah i got three beans that's how much i love beans sometimes and anna marie actually loves beans but my youngest who's i've been getting i've been trying to get her to eat beans for a very long time but she's still not eating and then i got some spices i got pepper soup spices you know i got pepper soup spices i got banga soup spices very important they're in here. I have suya spice. I actually got this suya spice in Abuja last minute because I've always wanted to make suya at home. I got this suya spice in Abuja last minute. Um, I got iru. I got iru. Actually, my mom also got me fresh ones, but I just got these ones, the dry ones from the supermarket, just in case. Uh, guys, because when I make when I make pepper soup, these are pepper soup spices stuff. When I make pepper soup, I always hear, I always kind of feel like I don't get that authentic Nigeria pepper soup taste. It always just feels like meat water, according to my husband, babe. This one is meat water. <laughs> so I just, I, I said to myself, what people used to make pepper soup? So, well, I told my mom to get me these. To get me, like, this stuff. Because I know that somewhere along the line, these are used for making pepper soup. But there's a friend of mine in London who makes really good pepper soup. So I just bought this in case and I said I was going to ask there. I was going to ask her what exactly it's used for. I know this one, you can use it for pepper soup. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I bought it and I was going to look up how to use it. But I do know that you just put it in the pepper soup and it makes make it good. My mom was telling me that they also use it for banga soup, so, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not too sure. So I bought this one for pepper soup. Don't know how to use them 100%. I do have an idea. I don't know how to use it 100%, but let's see how that goes. 
and then of course what's um what's banga soup without without um banga leaves so i got a bunch of these these tiny tiny leaves and they are very good for pepper soup as well sometimes when i don't have um when i want to put them in place they're also very good found some more buruko fish raw um what is it called raw crayfish so i did not i did not ask my mom to blend this one just because sometimes i like to have like the proper raw crayfish in my uh, what is it called my cardiac or sometimes or sometimes because i use crayfish quite a lot for the girls meals i run out quite easily so i told her just to buy me the raw ones in case i run out of the the blended ones um the grounded ones i would ground this one myself here so in here is a goosey and when my mom bought this egusi, I was like, ah, mom, who's going to eat this food? This egusi is too much. I still have some in the fridge. Um, I was even going to give to my mother-in-law from inside this one. But I think I forgot because, you know, I, because me, everything is last minute. But anyway, this is egusi. Um, I'm very glad I actually kept it because the ones I had in the fridge, they all went bad. So this is egusi. Um, these in here are more, in here are more banga spices. In here are more banga spices. I don't really know who's going to be eating on this, but I'm hoping that maybe I I can. Um, I'm going to show these things to my friends here too if they want some. I would share with them. I bought Karen room pepper just because each time I watch CCMS video, some of her recipes she be like Karen room pepper, Karen room pepper. So I just kind of bought it. Here. Let's see. But I think that'll be very good to spice meat as well. And what's this one? I think this is Benny. Yeah, this is Benny. I really yeah, Benny for the, um cooking chicken as well. I love these Bennies as well. Um, I love them just as much as I love that kitchen glory. So I got a bunch of them. Look, I'm going to open market in this in this <laughs> in this England that I came to. I'm going to open serious market. And I you know after getting these things, I was not telling myself, why did I get so much of this? Of course. Come to think of it, yeah, I've, I travel to Nigeria quite frequently. My husband does quite frequently as well. So why did I get so much of this stuff? Um, I don't know. In here, in here. Oh, yeah, I know what's in here. This is scent. Correct me. If, oh, no, this is uh, bitter leaf. Um, show you guys. This is bitter leaf. Um, I just bought a, like a small quantity for soup. And then this is this is account. If you know, you know. If you were born and brought up in Benin or you're from Middle State, you know what account is used for. It's actually called potash. I think it's called potash. So I normally use it to make owo, owo and yam. Well, not the yam, but I used to make owo sauce. Very. I don't think you can make owo sauce without potash. So I got me some. Um, what's this? Ah, and then I got some ogbolo. I got some ogbolo as well. They are in here. Um, what's this one? Ah, yeah, some more banga leaf. Banga leaf. Uh, I think in here is more potash. I don't know why I need this more potash, but and then I have um, what's that? Leaf? Punky leaf in here. Dried ones. They're not fresh, so I bought them fresh in the market, and I laid them on a tree outside in the house. And just make sure that they dried properly before I packed them. And I think, what did I go to that they gave me some sweets? So, I was giving some sweets. I think I bought, was it ShopRite? No, definitely not ShopRite. I went to one of these supermarkets and they didn't have change. So, I just took some sweets for the girls. I didn't want to give to them on the flight because um, because during the holiday back home, the girls had so many sweets like cakes, uh, meat pie, freezy drinks. So, right now, I'm trying to detox their stomach. Because they had way too much to way too many they had way too many sugary stuff while they were away. What's in here? I can't remember. Ah I remember I know what's in here. I have this really big anytime fish. I think they might be called like is it what scrub? I think this one called scrub. Like I really like them again for cardiac sauce. You can put them in your beans if you want to, but I wouldn't. Um it's mostly for cardiac sauce or just quick sauce that I want to make. For a few of those um what's in this one? Oh yeah and then in here i have um scent leaf and a bit of more pumpkin leaf i remember very well and of course 
before I left the house, I remember that my gari was finished. And if you know, sometimes the gari here in the UK. So I'm just listening if the girls are awake because they are fast asleep now. I thought I heard something, but anyway. Um, so I got one rubber of gari for myself because the gari here sometimes is it and means because the gari is it's packaged so you can't really test it or feel it so sometimes it's hit and miss i actually got two two rubber i already like put one rubber i already put one rubber um in my gary box i put one rubber of gary in my gary rubber yeah that's it and then i bought a camo i bought a camo but i've already put that in the fridge because i love to have a camo with egg and bread or a camo with a cara on Saturdays, so I really love that. So I bought that. So yeah, welcome to my Nigerian market. Um, if you want anything, leave a comment down below. I will hook you up. To my friends here in the UK, let me know if you want anything from these things I've just showed you. Hook me up on time because I've sent some of the images to some of the of um, some of my other friends here. So let me know if you want anything. Um, I'm very happy to share. Um, so yeah. Welcome to my Nigerian market. What should we call this market? Mommy's blog market. Ca Mommy's blog cash and carry UK market. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's all I have in this bag. Now I need to sort out everything and put them in the right places. And I just wish these things could just crawl and go into where they need to go. But no! They won't and i have to do the job so yeah anyway i'm going to go do that i hope you guys enjoyed this uh market haul market video this is not a fashion haul this is a food haul so i hope you guys enjoyed it um don't forget to subscribe like share and leave a comment but i really want to know to those of you that travel abroad or to those of you that live abroad do you normally do a lot of food shopping when you're back home and you bring them back to back to to the abroad when you go back home because i even know some friends that when they're coming down to the uk for holiday they still take some food stuff just you know if they're staying for a very long time they still take some food stuff just in case they um just in case they want to cook for themselves so yeah yeah i'll see you guys later thank you and don't forget to subscribe